At its simplest, computer programming is all about manipulating data. Remember, everything you see on your screen can be reduced to numbers that you send to the CPU. Sometimes you yourself represent and work with the data as various types of numbers, but other times the data comes in more complex forms such as text, images, and collections. In your Kotlin code, you can give each piece of data a name uh, you can use to refer it later. The name carries with its, uh, uh, with its an associated type that denotes what sort of data the name refers to, such as text, number, or data. So, you will learn more about uh, some of the basic types in this uh, lesson, and you will encounter many other types throughout the rest of the course. So let's start by constants. Look at this code. We will start by val number int equal to 10. Okay, we don't use semicolon just put like this so this uses the val keyword to declare a constant called number which is one of the type integer then it sets the value of the constant to the number 10 thinking back to operators here's another one equal sign is an operator uh, operator sign that we are going to you to take in the next videos but till now, just learn how to create a constant variable. We start by val number in and two points. We specify the type of this value, a variable and equal, and we give it a val. A val. The type int can store integers. So int, int is for storing, stores, integers okay the way you store decimal numbers is like this so val pi double equal to 3.1459 okay so double stores decimals You see, I'm using comments here, guys, in order to allow you to understand better code and you write uh, your own notes for uh, understanding the code. Okay? This is similar to the int constant, uh, constant, except the name and the type are different. This time, the constant is double and the type can store decimal with high precision. There are also a type called the float. So I can create float here. You val uh, k float equal to six point at this number. We have an error and we need to specify f. So when using a float, we need to specify and tell the the compiler that this variable is a float type by specifying f letter at the end what does uh, what the float and the double uh, differentiate there that stores short for floating numbers this float uh, short for floating point the stored decimal with lower precision than, than double so always use double for higher precision and float for small uh, and uh, small numbers double you can put uh, many numbers here uh, but float small uh, small pieces of uh, of numbers after the decimal point so in fact double has about double the precision of float which is why it's called double in the first place so double decision double decision on and of the float point 
A float takes up less memory than double, but generally memory used for uh, numbers is not a huge issue. And you will see double used in the most places. Even though we call an item created with val a constant, it's more correct to say the identifier marked with val is what a, a constant. Once you have declared a constant, you cannot change its data. For example, consider the code no, number int equal to 10. I can't put here n n that number number equal to now to 10, uh, to, 50, uh, to 11. I can't put like this. It give me an error. What this error? Change to var. It's telling me the, uh, to change the val to var. So val is values of all the constants and var is a variable. Okay, so once you val is declared, I can't uh, make a change for it. So because this is called constant. So constants are useful for values that are not going to change. For example, for example, if you if you were modeling an airplane and need to keep track of the total number of seats available, you could use a constant. Or if you have a constant in mathematics like pi 3.1459, you can use a value of constant and create it as pi. So in certain situations, for example, at the top level, level of your code, at so outside of any uh, functions, you can add the constant keyword to val to mark it as the compile time constant. So I can put here const. Okay, at the top level of any method, we need to specify it outside any method. But till now. We will uh, later on. We will uh, talk about constant and the non-access modifiers in the uh, in the OOP section. But till now, you understand the variable, the values, and the constant of uh, and the, the the constant data type in Kotlin, and we are ready to go through the variables in the next uh, lesson. Thank you, guys.